Cove lighting can add a dramatic effect to just about any room, and now this project has gotten a whole lot easier for two reasons, polystyrene crown molding and LED lighting tape. Let me show you what I mean. This polystyrene crown molding is typically used at the top of the wall, where it meets the ceiling. However, this molding has a unique design that allows it to be mounted several inches below the ceiling and backlit with LED light tape. To begin, I first decide how far from the ceiling I want the lighting. Now, one way to do this is to take a scrap piece of molding, attach a piece of LED light tape to the back, and do some experimenting. Once I've determined the best location, I mark the bottom edge of the molding. Normally, the power for the lights will come from a wall receptacle. The power supply simply plugs into the outlet and reduces the 120 volt AC household current to 12 volts DC. The challenge here is to get the power up to the molding without the wire being visible. To do that, I'll first cut an opening and install this mounting bracket. Then draw a vertical line up the wall and mark the height at which I want the wire to exit. Next, I bore a one inch hole in the wall. Tie a length of string to a short piece of chain. Push the chain into the hole and allow it to drop downward until it becomes visible in the wall opening I just cut. Now I can simply reach in, grab the chain, and pull out the string. A piece of wooden dowel will keep the string from falling into the wall cavity. I attach an extension cable to the power supply tape the end of the cable to the string, and pull it up inside the wall and out the hole on top. Finally, I'll install this recessed cable plate next to the receptacle. Now I can cut the molding to length and put corner miters on the end. This non-metallic foil tape, commonly used for heating and air conditioning ducts, is being applied to the back of the crown molding to act as a reflector, bouncing the maximum amount of light upward. Now, it's important to use a non-metallic tape here to avoid the possibility of shorting out the LED lighting strip. To position the molding, I measure down the desired distance from the ceiling and make a mark near the end of each wall. Then, drive in a finish nail on one of the marks, loop the end of a chalk line over the nail, pull the line taut, align it with the mark on the other end of the wall, and snap a line. The lightweight polystyrene molding can be attached to the wall with standard painter's caulk, or a high-tack caulk like this one. No fasteners of any kind will be necessary. I just press the molding to the wall, double check the position, and make any necessary adjustment. Then caulk the miters. The LED light tape can be plugged directly into the power cable. Today, though, I'm going to add this wireless controller between the power cord and the tape that will allow me to operate the lights remotely. Next, I peel off the protective backing from the LED light tape, set it in position inside the molding, and press the tape in place. The light tape can be trimmed to any desired length with a pair of scissors. The remote control not only turns the lights on and off, it also controls the lighting level. 
and can provide a variety of lighting effects. Perfect for that next disco party. Pretty cool, huh?